Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some multi-dimensional lists using list comprehension. So we're going to build on what we learned in the previous tutorial where we just built a single list using list comprehension. Now we're going to go ahead and extend our knowledge and um, build multi-dimensional lists. Now recently I had the opportunity to take the Google FUBAR challenge. If you guys don't know what that is, is Google's way of um, <clears throat> finding some of the better talent programmers out there <clears throat> by making them do a bunch of um, uh, challenges for the opportunity to have an interview with Google. Now, if you make it through all the challenges, then you might get a call from Google. You may not because they get to see your work and then they decide off of that. Uh, that's my guess. I don't know. But <clears throat> the challenges are very uh, eye-opening. Uh, I mean, I program all day long. And after taking those challenges, it's like, wow, there's a lot, you know, I still can learn. There's a lot the world can learn about programming. <clears throat> and they do it within, you know, several challenges. So I'm going to show you one of the things I used quite often in these challenges, and that's building multi multi-dimensional lists with list comprehension. So let's get started. I'm going to explain to you how this all works. <clears throat> so just like before with list comprehension, we're going to go ahead and create our list. And then, <clears throat> I lose my voice. Uh, in there, we're going to have another list comprehension. Whoops, that's a square bracket. And we're going to say x4, x in uh, range of, I don't know, 5. All right. Then we close out that square bracket. So here we go. We got some list comprehension right here. And then we're going to have another one on the outside. So this is kind of like our expression, if you will, for our next list comprehension, which is going to be over here. And we're going to say 4 uh y in range of five all right <clears throat> so what this is going to do is going to create a list that's five objects uh wide if you will the length is five objects and then it's going to create five uh total lists on top of each other all right so <clears throat> x for the x-axis y for the y-axis so x horizontal y up and down right so this is going to be our uh right and left and this is going to be our up and down all right so we go ahead and hit return and then we call a and unfortunately it doesn't print out that nicely uh, as you would imagine um, <clears throat> but we got our we got our first list all right five objects long and then we, if you count these one two three four and five we got five ob objects up and down if you stack them on top of each other all right um, there's another way we could do it could have done this, and it's probably the least efficient way of doing it, is a is equal to, and we'll do a square bracket. And then we're going to use the list build-in function, and then we'll say x for x in range of, I don't know, let's say 10 this time. Do something a little different. Close out a parentheses, and then say 4y in range of 10. And we'll close out the um, list comprehension. Hit return, call a, and there you go. All right. So... If you guys, uh, oh yeah, before I even go, um, over on our website, I, we have a bonus tutorial where we show you guys a couple of things that are very important to list comprehension and working with multi-dimensional lists. First off, uh, we'll talk about, uh, we'll show you between the for loop and list comprehension, what is faster, what's more efficient for your programs. Also using square brackets versus the list building function. So if you guys uh, want to go more in depth, and make your programs faster and more efficient, then head over to our website. The link's down below in the description. I'd like to see you over there. Let us know what you think of our tutorials. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next set of tutorials where we start talking about tuples. Have a good night. 